Uh, if I can start with you, Raymond Vickery, as, as you heard, I don't know if you had a chance to hear Trump there, uh, again making very broad hints in our interview that he is likely to run again. He says, I'm going to take a decision that will please a lot of people. Uh, what are your first thoughts? Does that, does that fill you with anxiety for American democracy or not? Well, thanks very much for having me, and congratulations, Srinivasan, uh, for uh, getting uh, this interview. Uh, I thought it was breathtaking in the mendacity and the lies which were put out. And I noticed that you, uh, throughout the program, had to put in uh, corrections, uh, starting with uh, that Trump is ahead in the polls. That's just not true. Uh, you can go on 538 and see that that's not true. Uh, the business about what happened in winning the election. Uh, he didn't win the election. There were 50 court cases by 30 judges, uh, approximately. It said that there was no evidence of that. You had to correct that. On Ukraine, that it would never have happened. You pointed out that uh, the, that he had been praising uh, Putin and really egging him on. And then the lie about uh, his truth uh, uh, website, uh, it's just not true that it's doing great, it's in bad. So the whole mendacity of it uh, is really shocking, and you can see what the outlines are going to be. In my view, yeah, it fills me with trepidation to think that this guy is going uh, to run again, and it, it fills me uh, with trepidation because of the principles and the values involved and the chief value which India and the U.S. share uh, is democracy. And if mm -hmm. this is not an attack on democracy in terms of the way he conducts himself and continues to attack the veracity of the 2020 election, I don't know what is. And you can go online and you can see uh, him saying that he's going to lead the mob up to the Capitol uh, to keep Pence from certifying the election. And you can see online what he said about Pence, that he didn't do his job, and when, he, of course, he did, and that what saved democracy. Uh, and it just goes on and on. Right. Uh, the good news is that... Uh, uh, India uh, has strong uh, friends, both uh, Republican and Democrat, and that that remains. But uh, this is really a very, very scary prospect for democracy. Okay. 